2023, but is it worth getting a CD player in 2023? Well, today we're going to find out because this is the Ankyo C7030 single disc CD player. There is also a six disc version, but I decided against that one. I'll tell you a little bit why. We got this here and we got some RCA cables and let's unbox this first. All right, so inside the box, we have a remote, which is pretty long. I'll show you on the second here. Some cables, and the unit itself. All right, so this is the unit. It looks newer than the six disc changer, so it'll match my receiver. This is the remote, it's pretty long. Looks like they provide us AV cables. That's actually, hmm, makes me question getting these now. Didn't know it actually comes with those. And then of course, we got, some other stuff here. This is probably a 12 volt trigger cable. Looks like it's a remote control cable for IR triggers. All right, so I could use the cables that came with this. These are probably decent enough, but I need a long run because my receiver is up here. If you watched my previous video, you'll or previous videos, you'll know that I had a on-care receiver. It's currently at a service center for an HDMI issue on the second HDMI output. It stopped outputting video on the second output, but everything else is working fine. It was under warranty, so I'm getting it repaired for free. This is the previous receiver I had. I borrowed it back from my brother for one, two, three weeks. But I'll have the Ankyo back hopefully soon. All right, so these are the cables that I got for this setup. They're definitely thicker than these and they're probably higher quality. I don't recommend spending like a thousand on cables, especially digital cables. But for my setup, I'm not gonna run digital. And the reason back to digital is there's no point in me getting a CD player if I'm gonna play it digital because I literally have my desktop, a PS2, an Xbox, a Wii. Basically all these devices can play CDs and the ones that are connected to HDMI or optical are digital. So the reason for digital is you want your receiver to use its DAC instead of the CD player. But in this case, I actually want to use the analog output from this so I get to use the DAC from this CD player because apparently the DAC from this CD player is not that bad and I want to see how it sounds. I can always go back and forth by switching to digital but that was one of the reasons I wanted to get the CD player actually. Analog inputs on receivers these days. I feel like it's getting less and less each generation. So there's this thing called CD. I'm going to plug those into the CD ports. Now the only problem is right now I'm using the CD um, port. I'm assigning it to one of these HDMI cables one of my devices so i gotta take it out it's kind of annoying honestly uh modern receivers they give you the same amount of analog and digital inputs but it'd be kind of nice if they gave you like an extra analog input just in case you want to use all let's say this has seven hdmis but if you want to use all seven hdmis and in addition to the seven hdmis i want to use an analog port it'd be kind of nice if they have like an extra one instead of having to assign it and then that way you kind of lose the port you know what I mean? All right, so it's kind of messy down here, but I'm gonna put the CD player here. I think there's enough room to accommodate it here. Just gotta move the game kit a little bit. Just move these a little bit. So one thing I don't like about the CD player is the wire's not removable. Most of the older equipment that I've owned always had a detachable AC cord, which is kind of useful in the event that this cord gets messed up or something. But if it does get messed up, you'd have to basically open the whole chassis and remove the wire which is still doable, it's not like it's not doable, it's just an inconvenience. Oh, wow, this is actually pretty heavy. I wasn't expecting it to be this heavy. RCA cables, so like I said, we're gonna use RCA. I'm not gonna use digital. All right, so batteries are still included, which is great because I actually don't have AAA batteries on deck right now. So thank you, Yankee, for still including batteries. All right, here's a disc, so let's go over here. All right, so let's turn this on. It's the first boot. Hear that clicking? Load it up. That disk drive is very smooth and very quiet. So one thing I like about CD players is I can just put it in, the CD in, and not worry about having the TV on or just turning on my computer. Well, my computer's always on, but just having to turn on TV and everything. So it looks like it's ready to go, ready to play. All right, so what I'm gonna do on the receiver is we're gonna go ahead and put it to direct mode. So that way the receiver doesn't really do any processing. The CD player sends the audio, the analog signal to this and yeah. All right, so I'm not getting any audio and I realize I'm an idiot because remember how I told you guys I was using CD input for the HDMI? Well, we gotta go back into the settings and basically go to inputs and 
put a sign and then here's CD. So I have it set to HDMI over here. We don't want that. We want analog. And of course they're numbered instead of saying CD, this or that. So I gotta go back here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So analog five. So we're gonna go here and change the analog to five. So now we should get audio. Alright, so I'm gonna hook up my microphone. I don't know if that microphone's gonna be good enough to capture the differences. Hopefully y'all can hear the differences. I'm gonna do a little test real quick and see if I can hear a difference. Um, this right here is my PC. We're using FUBAR 2000. I ripped the disc into FLAC, basically the highest quality, and it's hooked up through HDMI to my receiver. So it sends a digital signal to the receiver. The receiver does this thing to convert it, right? And then the CD player is hooked up through RCA analog. So in that case, the CD player's DAC will be in play instead. So they're both in direct mode. There's no processing enabled as much. Everything's good to go. So let's see how it sounds. All right, so I'm gonna apologize right now because all I have here is K-pop. The rest of my CDs are all in storage and even then it's Indian music. So yeah, and since last time, uh, the Dinon is back to my brother and I have this new cabinet here or stand and I didn't get my own receiver back yet but instead we got this NR3030 recently so we'll see how this sounds. So we'll try this one next. Um, there's definitely a difference. Even my brother can hear a difference. If he can hear a difference, you'll be able to hear a difference. Um, I don't know about with the microphone, but yeah. I'll try this one next and then we'll do an A and B comparison. I also have this one in flak right here, ripped from the disc. This will be an easy comparison.
Alright, so as you hopefully can hear, I don't know if you can, but I can hear a difference, and so can my brother. And he's not even like an audio person, like an audio file, so he can hear a difference too. On the CDs, it sounds a little more flat, it sounds more balanced, which is actually a good thing. It gives you that, kind of gives like this old school vibe in a way. And I feel like you can hear the voices better, and I also feel like everything just bounces out more. On the HDMI for my desktop, everything's a little bit more crispy, there's a lot more treble, it's more sharper. Um, yeah. So with that said, this this specific CD player is has an MSRP of $299. You can always find it for basically $249 on sale. Um, it is on sale for $199 on Amazon right now. I'll put a link in the description to the Amazon listing. Hopefully it's still $199 when this video is posted. At that price, it's not bad. See, personally, I used some uh, cash back that I had and some credit, so I got mine for $21. So at that price, it's kind of hard to say no. But at $199, you really have to want to either have that, unless you have like a bunch of CDs uh, collecting somewhere, you really want to have to have it because as you saw, I have everything ripped to my desktop and it's in FLAC, so the quality is already good. And I can literally play it from any computer in the house. I have it on the network drive as a share. So it's way more convenient and I can just click and choose instead of putting a CD in a CD player and click and play where you don't really um, know. So the other thing is there's a six disc changer, the Onkyo uh, DX690, I think it was. I'll put, I'll put it in the bottom what the actual model number is. That one can hold six discs and it's way easier to switch between discs and stuff. Now the reason I did not get that one, two specific reasons. First of all, this specific unit looks, uh, it blends in more with my Onkyo receiver and the power amplifier. It has the same like generational look to it. Whereas the six CD changer is very old. They're still selling like, I think it's from like 2004, five or six, something like that. So it has like a really older look. It also has a really bright LED in the front that I didn't want to have just there. And the last reason is I had a, I think it was a Technics CD changer uh, from the 90s. And that one had an issue with the carousel. So that's the other reason was more moving parts, more prone to failure in the future. I don't want this to fail like in five years. But I know the other, actually, the other one is actually not bad too. With that said, it's way easier for you to rip your music play on a computer or on some other device. But if you really want to have that nostalgia or you really want to just have listen to your CDs and the um, DAC that's built in, I say go for it. I like the way it sounds. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully I get my Anker receiver back in the in the future. I did see Anker release the new RZ, um, the Z70, um, which was kind of cool. It's basically my receiver, my old one, plus the power amplifier, basically for 11 channels. I'm not gonna be able to do a video on that because that's gonna cost $2,000, but yeah. With that said, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.